Hi everyone, who does not love a yummy cheesy treat for their dinner? Want to know more? Tune in. I was getting so many requests from mums for a complete dinner using vegetables, cheese and a lot more ingredients, mainly aimed at making the younger ones at home to eat more greens. And here is the recipe, the cheese basket. Excited already? Let's get started. We require boiled carrots, potatoes, broccoli, cheese, plain flour 2.5 cups, oil 2 by 3 cup, baking powder 1 teaspoon, pizza sauce, jalapeno, green olives and black olives, thyme, oregano, paprika, parsley and salt 1 teaspoon. We will first prepare the dough. So in a bowl add plain flour, baking powder and salt. Mix well using hands till combined. Now we will add the oil. I have used sunflower oil here. You may use any other neutral flavored oil also. We will keep combining till we get a breadcrumb consistency. Now comes the final part of making a firm dough using water. Remember to add water in parts only. I used about 1 by 5 cup water here. It much depends on the quality of the flour used. You may need a bit more or less of water. You may make the dough even by swapping an exactly half ratio of wheat flour and plain flour. This is the consistency that we are looking for. Rest the dough at room temperature for about 15 minutes uncovered before we roll it. Now sprinkle some plain flour onto your work flour and shape the dough well. Start rolling it slowly. Feel free to add enough plain flour for rolling. The thickness of the rolled out dough should not exceed half centimeter. I have got a square baking dish here, so I am rolling accordingly. Grease the baking dish well using oil or butter as you wish. Do not forget to apply on the sides also. Unroll the dough gently onto the baking dish and fix the edges as shown here. Now. Gently prick the base with a fork. This is done in order to prevent any air bubbles forming in the crust. I have used the same fork to design the edges nicely here. As I always say, improvise and find more attractive ways of doing it. You may even use cookie cutters to make the shapes and decorate the edges. Excess dough, if any, you may remove using a knife as shown here. I have used a 9 inch baking dish here. Next up, in a bowl, we will add 2 large mashed potatoes, paprika, oregano, thyme and parsley and mix well. 
Wondering what is paprika? It is less hot than the chili powder and it has got a mild sweet flavor also. Combine everything well. It takes a few minutes to combine. Now add some oil and mix again. Now grab the baking dish and apply some butter onto it. Let's make the first layer using the mashed potato mix. Spread over gently to all the sides. Once done, make a cheesy layer. Be generous so that your younger ones will love it. I have used a blend of cheddar and mozzarella cheese. However, you may choose according to your preferences. For the next layer, I have kept ready some boiled carrots. Here, if you want, you can grate them too without boiling. The combination of vegetables used plays an important part here. This is full of vitamins and nutrients and a lot more fat. But after the baking time, I'm sure there will be a lot of crowd in your kitchen to enjoy this filling cheesy basket. Add a big scoop of pizza sauce and spread evenly. I have used homemade sauce but even the off-shelf ones will do just fine. Another cheesy layer in place. Then add the jalapenos and olives. Since I had green and black ones, I used both. Add in some more seasonings if you like and salt if required. One more layer of cheese. Then we are good to go for the steamed broccoli. Arrange the florets on top of it. Throw in some more cheese and we are good to bake. Preheat the oven at 200 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes then bake it in the middle rack for about 1 or 15 minutes or until golden in color. The oven temperatures may vary, so keep an eye on the dish after the first 45 minutes mark. Serve this cheesy treat for your dinner today. A family of five can happily share it. Hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you have any questions or suggestions, please pen it in the comment section below. Do not forget to visit my channel for more unique recipes. I'm sure you will not forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel with the bell icon on for receiving the notifications of all my upcoming uploads. Do tune in for finding a unique Bulgarian recipe coming week. Until then, bye bye.